You're standing on the bow of the ship, admiring huge waves, and trying not to stare at that kraken over there. (laughs) Nah, just kidding. You're in luck, and today, you'll be part of a marine expedition exploring the deepest parts of the world's oceans. You'll start with the Indian Ocean. The Sunda Trench. It appeared here because of the movement of tectonic plates. Those are huge chunks of land that float on the ocean of lava deep beneath the surface. Tectonic plates are like jigsaw puzzles that cover the whole surface of our planet. And they move all the time. When two puzzle pieces collide with each other, one of them eventually goes under the other. The tectonic plate underneath starts to bend. It goes down and water fills the void. Many years after this happened in the Indian Ocean, there's a nearly 24,000 feet deep trench in that place. It's like 24 Empire State Buildings stacked one on top of each other. This trench is so deep that the technology didn't allow people to send a crewed submarine there until 2019. Research has confirmed that the Sunda Trench is the deepest point in the Indian Ocean. The constant movement of tectonic plates in that region causes tsunamis with high waves and earthquakes of magnitude even greater than 8. Scientists also believe they might have discovered life forms that have never been known to science before. Those are new species of snailfish and ascidians. This last one is a living organism that looks like a small bag. Put on a warm jacket, you're heading north. About 100 miles away from Svalbard, a Norwegian archipelago, there's the deepest point of the Arctic Ocean, the Molloy Hole. The first and only man to descend there used a $50 million submarine. He descended to a depth of more than 18,200 feet. This is the height of the mountains in Bhutan in South Asia. Previously, this place was only explored with the help of sonar. A ship with special equipment stopped right above the trench and sent sound waves downward. These waves bounced off the ocean floor and returned to the ship. After analyzing how fast the wave traveled through the water and the time it took for it to return to the ship, scientists managed to calculate the approximate depth of the Molloy Hole. To determine the real depth more precisely, the researchers measured the pressure at the bottom. At the surface, it's one atmosphere. 30 feet underwater, the pressure doubles. At the very bottom of the Molloy Hole, the water pressure is 1,110 times greater than that at the surface. The South Sandwich Trench This one was created by the collision of the South American Plate and the South Sandwich Plate. A volcanic arch also appeared there. That's a chain of islands with high volcanic activity. Lava rushed out of the volcano and cooled when it touched water. It resulted in the appearance of new islands. On one of them, there's Mount Belinda. It's still an active volcano. Researchers kept exploring the trench with sonars until they found its deepest point at almost 27,000 feet. That's nearly 35 times deeper than the record depth for freediving. The leader of the expedition descended to that depth in a DSV limiting factor submarine. The deepest point in the Atlantic Ocean is near Puerto Rico. It's the Milwaukee Deep. The first crewed vessel descended there in 1964. The French submarine Archimedes managed to reach a depth of 27,200 feet. That's like 10 Burj Khalifas, which is the tallest building on Earth, stacked on top of one another. But the submarine never reached the bottom. More than 50 years later, a new expedition finally got to the bottom. It was 280 feet below the previous mark. This means the first expedition stopped only one soccer field away from their goal. The modern crewed submarine limiting factor set the record for the deepest dive, 27,480 feet. By comparison, the record for a scuba diver is only 1,089 feet. And the atmospheric diving suit, which looks like a small human-shaped submarine, allows you to get down to a maximum of 2,000 feet. The Kuro-Kamchatka Trench is one of the deepest places in the Pacific Ocean. It's also one of the oldest. It was formed about 66 million years ago when two tectonic plates collided with each other. As a result, the Kuril Islands and Kamchatka Volcanic Arc appeared here. This is the region of some of the most severe earthquakes on our planet. 
The deepest point of the Kuro-Kamchatka Trench lies at about 34,500 feet below the surface. And it's so wide that the whole Manhattan Island could fit there. Twice. When two giant tectonic plates collided, several more trenches appeared in this region. For example, the Japan Trench. This is a continuation of the Kuro-Kamchatka Trench. In 1989, the first expedition visited this place. Three researchers on the submarine Shinkai 6500 managed to descend to a depth of 21,410 feet. That's like 21 Eiffel Towers on top of one another. In 2008, another expedition reached a depth of more than 25,200 feet. They discovered life there and even managed to film a group of Hadal snailfish swimming by. These creatures were as long as a big banana. Another trench in this chain is the Izu Ogasawara Trench. Its maximum depth is about 32,100 feet. It's as great as the height of 72 London eyes. In this trench, scientists discovered xenophyophores at a depth of 4 miles. These things that look like lufus are actually living organisms that consist of only one cell. They can withstand extremely low temperatures and tremendous pressure. A pillar of water presses on these organisms with a force of 8 tons per square inch. You can compare it with a large truck parked on a matchbox. Sunlight doesn't reach these depths, and these little guys get all their energy from filtering water. The next stop is the Tonga Trench. This is the second deepest place on our planet, 35,500 feet. By comparison, the Olympic running track is 1,310 feet. You'd have to run 27 laps to get to the very bottom of the trench, the horizon deep. And still, there's life in this dark and cold place. Researchers have found several communities of nematodes there. These are roundworms that are even shorter than the eye of a needle. In the trench, there's also a strange object that got there from space. In 1970, an oxygen tank from one of the rockets that flew to the moon fell in this area. It sank somewhere in the depths of the Tonga Trench. The Serena Deep is right next to the Mariana Trench, and it's almost as deep. In May 2019, two explorers reached the bottom of the trench, 35,150 feet below the surface. Planes fly above the ground at the same altitude. The explorers spent nearly three hours in the Serena Deep. They took many videos and collected biological and geological samples. The team managed to get their hands on a piece of the deepest mantle rock in history. Now, you've arrived at the deepest place on the planet, the Mariana Trench. Let's dive in! You've descended more than 36,000 feet. Your destination is the Challenger Deep. The pressure there can crush an ordinary submarine with the ease of a truck running over a bag of chips. If you shoved Mount Everest into the Mariana Trench, the mountain's peak would still be hiding underwater. People first visited this place in 1960. At the bottom of the trench, researchers found some flat fish that looked like a flounder. It was clear that living organisms there had adapted to the extreme pressure and darkness at such depth. It resulted in fish being very small. There's almost no food in the trench. All they can munch on is some plankton and fish scales getting there from the upper layers of the ocean. After a Japanese probe took samples in the Mariana Trench, scientists discovered some other life forms. Those were foraminifera, single-celled organisms covered with something resembling a shell. An American filmmaker visited the trench in 2012. He used a single-seater bath escape with a lot of research equipment, 3D cameras, and powerful lights. The intense pressure down there damaged some of the batteries and lights. But the man made it to the surface and brought back plenty of soil and water samples, as well as beautiful footage from the bottom of the Mariana Trench. In 2019, an explorer who had visited the deepest places of all the oceans on Earth set a new world record here – 35,853 feet. He became the first person in history to have been to the highest point on the planet, Mount Everest, and the deepest one, the Challenger Deep. He later piloted a deep-sea submarine to take scientists to that depth. A total of 16 people have been there by now. 
for comparison, 574 people have already been to space. And now, a bonus fact for you. The deepest hole people have ever drilled is the Kola Superdeep Borehole. It's 7.6 miles deep. That's like six and a half Brooklyn bridges. Legends say the borehole produces strange sounds, but no one knows for sure if it's true.